so I'm sure you're going to tell us more about it. Thank you. I don't know if I'll need that. Okay. If I do, how do you reckon? Just uh, brush it up. Yeah. Get it under the air because it's going to cross. <laughs> <laughs> don't want that. Can everyone hear me first of all before I start to try and use this? Yep. Yep, right, brilliant. After all that. <laughs> Morning. My name's Louise Whiteman. I am a freelance consultant and I operate as Approach the Coach. I do a couple of things. I work either as a social media trainer or I work as an alias for people that don't have the time or maybe don't know the products enough to do their own social media. I've just entered into an engagement with uh, the Go Group, so we're actually kick-starting their social media courses. So the first one is on the 23rd of October. That's a sort of basic intermediate course, and the second one is on the 30th of November, and that's an advanced course, so I just had to get that in. Um, my journey, I basically stumbled across social media. I was rebranding and reinventing myself. Um, I had previously had my own recruitment agency, and so I was from a sales background. I was studying to be a life coach, and I was looking for another revenue stream. Because I was doing the reinvention and the rebranding, I had to promote myself on a very tight budget, so social media was the clear option for me to embrace. But what I found was there was such a multitude of different tools out there, and the key was really to find the most efficient way to do it without duplicating your messages so that you were communicating effectively um, and getting your message across. Now, I because I'm quite an obsessive person, I wanted to be the very best I could be. And a friend uh, encouraged me to actually embrace social media and really take it on to the next level. So in order for me to truly feel that I wasn't a fraud and I knew what I was doing when I was representing other people's brands, um, I actually started doing the ITQ in social media. So as Rona said, I was the first person in Scotland to actually get that qualification. Just to give you a very brief overview, it's... Um, 24 modules and the course is a minimum of 16 weeks so what you have to do is prove to your tutor um, every day that you're actually being consistent with your social media message so you work out your marketing strategy you work out um, you know the bare bones of the strategy and then you just basically implement the tools uh, learn new tools as you're going along uh, and it's great fun you know it's a fantastic way so that if you can't actually employ a social media consultant to do the work for you and do it correctly and ethically uh, learn to do it yourself uh, I know that there's funding available from Skills Development Scotland, so you know you should maybe look at doing that as well. Um, but it's, I think it's important as you progress in your career to update your qualifications, make sure that you're constantly learning uh, new skills because obviously you're, you're investing in yourself. What I was um, asked to talk about today was uh, phone casting. Does anyone use phone casting? No. Okay, all right. Well, most people, you know, they use Twitter, they use Facebook, they use LinkedIn, uh, sometimes they use uh, YouTube. If you don't want to use a YouTube, maybe you've got a message that you want to get out there, uh, record it on a phone cast. Um, it downloads to an MP3 uh, downloadable things, file so that you can actually send it to prospect clients. The tool that I recommend that's quite cheap is um, iPadio. So that's I P A D I O. So what you do is you register uh, online, you register your phone, you phone up a number, it's no 2 number in London, you record what you want to say, whether it's a sales pitch, whether it's an introduction, um, you download it into an MP3 format and then you can send it out. You can send it out on emails, you can upload it on Twitter, put it out on LinkedIn, but it's a really good tool um, to actually embrace and get the message out there. The other tool I wanted to talk about was uh, Sprout Social. We've spoken a lot today about all the tools that are available and uh, actually using social media to its best advantage. You need to know if you're doing it properly. You need to know if you're engaging with your audience, um, if you're making a difference. Now, Sprout Social, for me, is really good because I'm quite a visual person. So it tells me if I'm, it gives me a score on engagement and then it gives me a score on influence. It'll tell me the demographics, so it links to all your accounts 
and then it will tell you um, from the information that you're actually posting on Twitter, it will tell you what information has actually been uh, retweeted. So it could be that I'm posting something that someone else has posted online and that's what's getting opened as opposed to my content. So it makes you take a step back and say, okay, what's my engagement score out of 100? What's my influence score out of 100? And what are people looking at? What are they retweeting? And if they're not retweeting my stuff, I'm obviously not being interesting enough. So I need to, you know, rejig that. <laughs> So it's a really, it's not an expensive tool, it's only £5.80 a month. Uh, I think it's great, keeps you on track with your social media uh, and I would highly recommend it. The measure, uh, Sprout Social does help you measure your impact, so it also gives you suggestions on who you can follow. So you could type in that you want to follow designers in Glasgow and it will give you a list of people that um, you can actually follow. So it's a really good tool. So for me, it's all about, I try very, very hard not to waste time when I'm doing social media. So I try to look for the biggest impact, bit of wow, and uh, to make sure I'm doing it properly. So those tools certainly help me. Uh, and that was all that I wanted to talk about today. So thank you very much.